Hey guys, Moana Pobear here, and today we're going to talk about the three habits of rich people. Let's get to it. So, what are the habits of rich people? What are they doing that other people are not doing? Is there something specific? Is it something else? Is it investing? Is it startups? Is it uh, Bitcoin? Again, all those different things. What is that habits that rich people have that you don't? And today I want to expand them, and I want to start with, based on what my thoughts, it's about mindset, it's about habits, and it's about money, understanding the money. When you have those three habits, you can become successful and that's what I see based on my observations on what the rich people are doing. Now, other people might tell you different things. That's my, what are my thoughts. Other people might tell you you need to have a large Instagram account in order to be successful. No, that's not the case, guys. It's very comes down to very simple things and let's expand a little bit on each of those. So why I mentioned mindset, habits and money, right? So Two of them, if you notice, are things related to your mindset in general. So one of them is mindset, which is what I think is the, kind of like the internal beliefs you have about the world. Habits is about, for me, the way I see it is about the actions you take outside, externally in the world. So if it's making, making phone calls, doing negotiation, things like that. And the third thing is about understanding money and understanding that money, the way you get money, isn't by thinking about money all day or the secret or all that. It's about delivering value and in the business space it's about understanding things like revenues like profits like cash flow like forecasting things in your business and in your personal life like saving and investing and all those different things that if you don't have that understanding it's really hard to be successful at that place of money and that's what i mean by understanding the money it's about understanding about investing about accounting and all those different nuances of money now with the first two habits with mindset and habits basically it's all about Having daily, first of all, daily actions that get you better in those things. So if it's with mindset, I know people who take therapy, coaches or energy coaches. I do those things myself as well. I do every little thing you can imagine to basically change my internal beliefs. Then about habits, it's about finding ways to, first of all, know what the habits that you need to take to achieve your goals. And then making sure that you're doing those habits to have the accountability, that support. For me personally, I used to pay money for someone that, for an employee, that his only responsibility was to message me every hour to ask me what I'm doing. And if I'm not doing what I was supposed to do based on the goals that I, or, or the activities that I said to myself the day earlier, it means that I'm doing something wrong and I had to punish myself if it means burning a note of money or something like that. Otherwise, unless you have the accountability to do those things, many times you won't do just because you don't have to. At some point, especially if you don't need money in order to make a nice living, you, it's hard to find a passion to do those things. So it comes down to accountability and many times about impacting people. For me, the reason for me to do those videos, for example, is because I'm getting messages from people who tell me, hey man, you're doing something great in this world, you're adding value, you're changing my life. And that impact is what literally waking me up and giving me the passion to continue to do those videos. Even if it means like right now, this is a very small channel, but I'm getting awesome messages from you guys. And many times those are many, many messages that I'm getting on a day-to-day basis and a weekly basis that literally inspire me to continue and do those things because it feels like people out there um, who are watching those videos like them. And if you like them, definitely let me know because I like to get those messages. So continue to do them if you do. So remember guys, it's about habits, it's about mindset, because we become what we constantly do. And unless you have the right mindset, you won't do the things that's supposed to get you to where you need to be or want to be. So when you have the right internal beliefs, you will take the right actions, which will become the right habits. And those right habits will lead you to the right results. And when you have the understanding of money, all of that thing combined together will produce great results. And that's how you can achieve results in your life. That's how rich people produce results. And like I said, they understand money, they learn the space of money. If it means that it's business or assets or investments or all those different things and lessons and understanding about the world of money that are really, really important for you to become successful. So that's it for today, guys. If you want to explore working with me and my team who are involved in more than 300 deals, we're buying businesses, we're growing businesses by acquisitions, by buying competitors or complementary businesses. Or if you don't have a business, I think it's better for you to go and buy an existing one. It's going to cost you probably the same amount or, or even less than it is to start one from scratch. If you want to learn more about that, go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk. Otherwise, see the links in the description below. Subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that our 
other different habits of rich people that you think are more important? For me, I, it's kind of like very genero, generic, but I think, again, it comes down to your mindset, your habits, which is basically your actions, and then it comes down to understanding money and always becoming better at that. So those are my thoughts at least. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon.